Hey everyone, Christine here from Anchor. Today I'm going to be going over shoulder dislocates with you. I want to make sure you get the most out of this exercise. We do a lot of these in our program and hopefully this will help you understand why we do them. So the reason why we do them is for upper body mobility, also warming up through our shoulders. This exercise really does help open you up. So if you are tight through your chest, your shoulders are, are tight, or you feel maybe a little bit uh, rounded in the shoulders, this really does help to open you up. So I'm gonna be using a broomstick. In the gym we have a dowel. If you have anything long like this, with like a stick, um, go ahead and use that. I'm gonna have a wide grip with my hands. And all I'm gonna do, first thing is bring my shoulders down with those nice and relaxed. I don't want my shoulders sticking up to my ear. I'm just going to open up, bring that broom behind me as far as I can, and come back down. I wanna keep my arms nice and straight when I do this. I'm gonna go a little bit wider. As far as I can go, I'm back. I'm gonna to turn to the side. Open up and back down. If you have the mobility and are able to, you can go all the way back and all the way forward. Things that we're looking for while you're doing this. If you're trying to open up and your ribs start to flare and your lower back starts to round, you want to get everything in line. So ribs are over top of the hips. Same thing with the neck. Neck is in line. We don't want that sticking forward to give us another inch or two. Go as far as your body allows. Same thing if you can go all the way back down. But to get up, you have to kind of move your elbow or bring your shoulders up. If you can't keep your arms nice and straight the whole movement, don't go all the way back. Just go as far as your body allows you to. You really just want to feel that stretch and get as much movement in the joint as you can. So hopefully that helps you, and hopefully you can, <laughs> bless you, and hopefully you can take this with you uh, the next time we do it in class. Have a great day. Bye.